When the winter freeze rolls around, there's one place you can guarantee is full of fish, the Niagara River. Dave teams up with his pal and fishing guide extraordinaire, Paul Castellano, to chase some Niagara River brown trout. Yeah, we're not yours first. You're the guest. Stay here. No, you're the guest. We got yours. Oh, there's one. We're double scooping, Dave. In a land like no other, on a lake like you've never seen. Well, maybe you've seen lakes like this, but there is an angler so great, he once set the hook so hard he turned a small mouth into a large mouth. He can unscramble an egg. He made his first cast at the age of three and it landed yesterday. We join him to chronicle one day on one lake. This is Facts of Fishing, the show. Here we go. Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Abu Garcia for life. Yamaha, conquer water. Live target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. Berkeley, catch more fish. And Phoenix Bass Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. You know, living in Southern Ontario where I live, we are so lucky to be surrounded by so many amazing angling opportunities and one of the hidden gems that people around the world, they think of Niagara Falls and they think of a honeymoon or, or maybe a Superman movie or something like that. But below those falls, it is loaded with fish. And one of the coolest things about fishing is obviously I'm obsessed with the sport. You're probably obsessed with the sport or you just stumbled across this show and you're waking up in the morning, welcome. I'm obsessed with the sport so much, I never stop thinking about it. And one of the coolest things about this sport is people that have that same passion. And the guy we're fishing with today, he is an absolute fishing freak. What about the flatworm? How the hell happened to this bag? It's like sealed again. Oh, thank you. Maybe I'm just not a man. <laughs> just not manly enough. <laughs> we'll find out. We shall see. Send the general down. Oh my God, look at the mess of baits. And the bite, there's three kinds of bites. There's a tick. Mm -hmm. There's one where it feels like your line gets cut, but it come underneath it, keep lifting yep. up. And then there's the obvious, just like fish on, All right? Crazy. Get one of the beads. Hey, get one of the beads. What do they want of the beads? What? Do they want the beads or do they want the beads? He looks so nervous that you're coming down the hill. Shut up. I am serious. 
There you go. Chit chat powder, Dave. That's it. Chit chat. You want me to do anything? You could grab the net or not. I could. I could. I'd rather fish. Myself, not <laughs> Downtown, here we go. Downtown. Here you go. Yes, sir. A lot of these fish are just, just finishing their spawn and they're hanging around. There's super deep water just beside us. And they're gonna munch on anything that swims by. There's all ice right now, there's smelts cruising around. Oh, so this looks exactly, exactly like the smelt that they're feeding on, right? And they're hanging these baits just below the, below the boat. We're actually letting the boat do the work for us. We're not casting. One of the most important parts of fishing is exactly what Paul's talking about, where your bait's positioned in the water column. A lot of guys will go out, they're not catching them, they'll start changing baits, they'll start changing colors, but they never adjust the position of their bait in the water column. And that is truly the most important thing. If those fish want to be looking up at it, keep it higher. Maybe those fish want it right on the bottom. Always adjust your position of your bait before you give up on a spot. This segment is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. Fishing with Castellano is, you know, it's kind of like a good movie. I mean, we laugh, we cry, it's everything in between. I mean, I don't think you go a minute without him second guessing the area, the spot, the lure, the blind. I mean, I mean he never stops thinking about adjustments to make. Kind of real with it too. Yeah. Stay on top of it. The amazing thing about the Niagara River is it's so full of everything. I mean, you name it, it's there. And it is such an oasis in the middle of the winter when everything is frozen everywhere. You get into that Niagara Gorge and it's open water and it is full of life, teeming with life. Whether it's in the air, the birds are below the water, the bait fish are always moving. There are so many different species of fish. It's always an adventure. Oh, what the f I had a hit. Reel? And I must have hit the free spool on my reel. <laughs> I've fished it once or twice in the last 10, 12 days. Oh look, they got a double header. You mean the last oh, 10, 12 days and you were telling me they're going to kill soft plastics? No, no, I never that. Yesterday they were chewing them really good though. That day that we originally booked. Like, we got a whole bunch on the soft plastic thing. Is that what yeah. I fought him like a bass too, right to the surface. I think it's not that yet, Dave. <laughs> oh. There you go. As you say. Like I said, I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> Hold on, let me take my gloves off. It's all soon. It's so much pressure me before. I got guide anxiety. You guys heard of guide anxiety before? They're just a little guy. I'm get him back in the water. Gonzo. I mean, 
people, you know, they tie little fancy flies and stuff for trout, but you can also just go bass fishing for them. <laughs> Grab a lizard. Yeah. Fishing scented baits is really important all year, but today they were key. Why? Because of the water clarity. Think about it. If you can't appeal to one sense, meaning the fish's vision, you appeal to another Perfect. sense, I mean, and that is me. scent. There you go. There you go. Good brown. Browner. That was right up on top of it, not fall. You ready for the net? Right. Scoop. Little brown trout. There you go, dude. Nice little chrome silver brownie. So a lot of times these fish are set up on different pieces of structure and just kind of wait, wait for that bait to come by. And I don't know if we can swoop down these birds up in the air, up above us. And then these guys, they'll set up and just kind of wait for the pods of bait to come by and then, and then pick them off. Um, the water's a little off. So I feel like it's clearing though, which is good, but I think if it clears just a bit, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a different ballgame. We all know how important water clarity is, but it becomes even more important when you're in fast moving water like the Niagara River. Think about it, those fish have a split second to react to that bait. That split second gets even shorter when you're dealing with poor water color. Sometimes we'll use two hooks. I, I don't think it's necessary. Actually, sometimes it's, it's uh, problematic if the fish twists and turns in the net in it, but it's also nice to figure out what depth they seem to want. Sometimes they want it, you know, four inches off the bottom. Sometimes they want it three feet, four feet off the bottom. So running this double ring gives you that option, right? So we have two hooks, one higher than the other. But I feel like today with conditions, we can just run the one and still get, get the job done. in today's episode were threaded using the RTD rod threading device. There you go. Oh. As soon as you get right on that edge. Watch these waves behind you so bad. Kind of bump and bump. Got him? No. Nice oh. laker, dude. Well, it's just a high hook. One up high. Okay, got it? Yeah. Okay, watch the waves behind you. Disaster. 
There you go. You're free. Coming up a little, little lumpy out here, but this guy's making it. There's one. Fish, guys. Oh, yeah. oh it's another giant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant brown! My enthusiastic host here and I are contemplating where we're going to eat. Is it going to be? Well, I know where I'm eating. Mama Brava? Whatever is in my dang hotel. This episode was filmed in cooperation with Paul Castellano of Cast Adventures. This segment is brought to you by Hook Performance Fishing. You know, if we get short for time, there is one species we could key in on. Get it done quick. Is it a gravel lizard? It's a gravel lizard kind of day. Oh, it is. It is this green water, this is probably this one catch the biggest ones. Oh, yeah. The biggest ones is when uh -huh. like the gravel lizards, they get dumped in this color water. It might happen today. I made sure I pre-fished a couple areas that had trout, but we caught too many wall yesterday, so I stayed away from those. I'm sure. I'm not going anywhere near those spots. I'm sure. Let's get a couple of gravel lizards. Mm -hmm. They are like gravel lizards, too. That's a great description. It's yours, man. Like iguanas. <laughs> We good? Yep. You got one yet? Nope. Damn it. Paul Castellano is always dialed. He's an absolute fishing freak, obsessed with catching fish. And his life has driven him to be a guide. I mean, he spends every day of his life on the Niagara River, Lake Erie, or Lake Ontario. If those fish are eaten, he figures it out. Double, doubled up, double up. Double double up. Double up. It's like that. Got to listen to the TV host. Tells me to move. No, that you're first. You're the guest. Just stay here. No, you're the guest. This is green. There's one. We're double scooping, Dave. Nice. What are we doing? 
flyers? Dave and Paul fished for five hours, made 57 drifts, and caught seven fish. That's it for the score. Now time for the facts. Dave used a 3.8 inch Berkeley Powerbait Power Swimmer on a half ounce jig head, fished on an Abu Garcia Veritas spinning rod with an Abu Garcia Revo Rocket spinning reel, spooled up with 15 pound test Berkeley X5 braided line with a Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon leader. Dave also used a Berkeley Powerbait Drop Shot Power Bass Minnow. Fished on a 7 foot 6 inch medium action Abu Garcia Fantasista Premier Spinning Rod. Paired up with an Abu Garcia MG Extreme Spinning Reel. Spooled up with 15 pound test Berkeley X5 braided line with a Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon leader. And that's the facts.